Hello and welcome. Join me as I teach you how to solve this spiritual equation. Now, this is what we call cubic equation because you observe the highest power of B is 3. And it means we expected to have three solutions. I'm going to show you how to get this step by step. It's just so easy. And don't forget to tell us how it helps in the comment. We always want to serve you best. We begin with our solution. So let's repeat what we have. We have B plus B cubed is equal to 2. Now we can rearrange these two in such that we find two numbers that when we cube it and also add the same number to the cube, it gives us back 2. You know too well that such number is going to be 1 because 1 add 1 cubed. 1 cubed is 1 multiplied 3 times. And that gives us one. So one add one gives you back two. So we're going to replace this with this value. In that case, we are going to have B plus B cubed is equal to one plus one cubed. Remember, this is positive. We take it to the left side. So this implies we have B. If you take this, we have negative one, then plus B cubed. This will give us negative one cubed. And everything is equal to zero. Now, these two are together. These two are together. Looking at this, you observe the two are cubes. And it reminds you of A cubed minus B cubed, which is equal to A minus B into A squared plus AB plus B squared. This is our algebraic identity. We are going to apply it on this to help us to solve. And to do that, we have, so this gives us B minus 1 for this, then plus for this, obeying this, we are going to have B minus 1 into, remember this is our, so we have B squared plus A and B. This is our A and this is our B. So we have B multiplied by 1 plus 1 squared. And everything is equal to zero. Remember that these two are together. So if you keep solving, we have B minus one plus B minus one into B squared. If you multiply this, it gives you B. One squared is one multiplied two times to give you one. And everything is equal to zero. Remember that these two are together and this is on its own. Did you observe that B minus 1 is repeated in the two parts? So we're going to factor it out to have B minus 1, open a big bracket, use this to divide this, it gives you 1. Now if you use this to divide these two, we are left with, remember there is positive sign, so we have plus. So we are left with B squared plus B plus 1, and everything is equal to 0. So keep solving, we have B minus 1 into 1. This is plus B squared plus B plus 1 is equal to 0. Now keep simplifying, we have B minus 1 into, we have B squared plus B. 1 add 1 gives us 2 and is equal to 0. Now remember for every A, B to be equal to 0, either A is 0 or B is equal to zero. So we're going to apply it here to solve. And for you to also have watched through this point, it shows what we're doing. Trust to don't forget to hit that subscription button if you're still there. Give this a like, share with your friends. Thank you. And let's keep doing this to have B minus one is equal to zero. So to eliminate this, you add one to both sides. So we have B is equal to add this, it gives us one. So the first value of B is positive 1. Now remember we also left behind, we left this behind. So it's going to give us B squared plus B plus 2 is equal to 0. Now this reminds you of your quadratic equation, the highest power of B is 2. So we're going to use our formula method. And to do that we have B is equal to negative B. Please, the B in the question is different from the one in the formula. Let's just change it. So let's put this. So negative B plus or minus square root of B squared 
minus 4ac divided by 2a. So remember your, your a is always the coefficient of your b squared, which is 1. And our b here is the coefficient of b, which is 1. Our c is the constant, which is 2. So we're going to plug this here. So to now have b is equal to negative, this is 1, plus or minus square root of, this is 1. So we have 1 squared minus 4 multiplies a is 1, multiplying c is 2, and is divided by 2 times our a is 1. So if you keep solving, b is equal to negative 1 plus or minus, so we now have 1 squared is 1. If you multiply this, it gives us negative 8 and is divided by 2. So this gives us b is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of subtract this, it gives you negative 7 and is divided by 2. Now carefully observe that there is a negative sign in the square root is leading us to a complex solution. So to remove this, we have b is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of, we can rewrite this to be negative 1 multiplied by 7 is divided by 2. And you know for every root of a multiplied by b is root of a multiplied by root of b. So we have b is equal to negative 1 plus or minus root of negative 1 multiplied by root of 7 is divided by 2. Now remember, each time you have square root of negative 1, it's always replaced with i, imaginary unit. So we have b is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i root 7 divided by 2. This root 7 is a prime root, so it can't be reduced anymore. So we are leaving it as this. So this gives us the second and the third value of b. Now, gathering the values of b we have, the first value of b is equal to 1. The second value of b is negative 1 plus root of 7i divided by 2. And then the third value of b is negative 1 minus root of 7i divided by 2. So this gives us the three values of b. Now, this is the one we call the real because it is found on a number line. And these two, you see, they contain both the real and the imaginary part. So these two are the complex solution. And I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends. I'll also be curious to see your own method in the comment. If this helps you, don't forget to tell us how much. Thank you for engaging us in our next class. Bye-bye.